All right, going on to the next part here. Hopefully you had a chance to practice on some of the other drills here. Going into this sports setup here. We're gonna put our feet together, nice and tall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a corkscrew type motion, a small circle. So right now we're going clockwise. Right now I'm gonna keep my fingertips on my stomach to make sure we've got scooping of the abs and we're not arching that back. We're keeping neutral spine or flat spine. I'm gonna start making the circles a little bit bigger. Engage that transverse abdominis and some of these obliques. Then we'll go the other side. Start the circle small. From the small circle, start building it up a little bit taller, a little bit wider. And then we're gonna hold it center. Again, what helps out is taking your fingertips and holding it down. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend the knees and you're gonna rock it. So there's a slight bend of the knees. I'm pushing down into the floor to get my hips elevated. Okay, we'll do a set of that. Once you've done a few of those reps, then we're gonna go into a figure eight pattern, just like this. So we're making a figure eight, almost like my toes are drawing a figure eight up on the ceiling. And then we'll go the opposite direction. A little bit of coordination here. Next setup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a hip lift on the center of that figure eight. So as I come to the center of the figure eight, you're gonna lift up, you're gonna finish your figure eight on this side, center of the figure eight, lift up, finish the other half of the figure eight. I'm back in the middle, lift the hips up, finish the circle on the right side. Back to center, lift the hips up, finish the circle on the other side. Then we'll reverse it. Finish the circle on the center on the left side. Lift the hip up. Finish the circle on the right side. Lift the hip up. Circle left, center lift. Finish the figure eight. And again, do the reps that will make sense for that one. Next, we're gonna go into the side plank. So again, you're resting on the elbows here. A lot of people will uh, just modify it and they'll take that bottom leg and hold it down. So we're only supported with our top hand and our, our elbow. Hands can also be on hips and they'll just draw the hips up and then lower. And this is fine. If you want more of a challenge, then you can put your hands up in the air. And as you go up, we're looking toward the ceiling. If you want more of a challenge, then as we lift up, we look under our armpits and then we raise it. So again, you can come up lower, raise it just like that. Again, more of a challenge, you take that bottom leg and you're gonna split it. So again, you can just start with the basics, hold it up in here, or you can lower, 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 give yourself a break, pause as you need to, come back up and hold it. Next variation is you can add the arms, go down under the armpit, come back up. If you need a break, simply lower the hips. Or if you want the, the maximum challenge, again, stack your feet, Come up, look at your hands, scoop it through the armpit, keep your balance in your core, and you'll do this repetition. Or you can just simply hold it here. Same thing on the other side. So I'm on my elbow in the side plank. My bottom leg is bent, my top leg's straight, hands on the hips. Level one progression, just bring the hips up and you can hold it here, or you can just lower as you need to, going up and down, you'll still feel it. Progression two. Look it up, you can just hold it in this position or you can drop it when you need a rest, come back up. Or while it's up, we look under our armpits, expand and open that chest. If I need a break at any time, I'll simply lower my hips. Next challenge, the bottom leg straight and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm either gonna have my hands on my hips and hold this position or I'm gonna look at the ceiling. Next progression, look through the armpits come back up. If I get tired, I can rest and lower. Final, feet are stacked, hands on hips, hold this position, or look at the ceiling, or dive it through the armpits. That's the most challenging. Again, lower your hips as you need to. So work those drills, work the reps you can.